much can you learn from watching the tape of last year's game? I know this defense is a lot different than the one you had last year. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think anytime you're looking at an opponent that you're playing that you played last year, I mean, schematically you want to evaluate it, see what they did against us that had success. Um, I think for our players, I think it just hits home even more so the film that we've seen from them this year. Is those, those guys made plays. They got a lot of playmakers over there, and they made a lot of plays on us last year. Um, so, I mean, you, you take some things from it. Obviously, we're different. We got different personnel. They got some different personnel, but some of the same pieces obviously had to chase, so that's a big part of it. Um, so you take some things from it, but again, it, it's a new year. How much different is Burrow from the time you saw him last year to what you're seeing now? Yeah, I mean, shoot, he made plays on us last year. You see a lot of the same things, him alluding. Um, his, his ability to extend plays, I think he's instinctive in the pocket, finding some escape lanes. He can, he, he's elusive. He's tough to bring down in there. Um, so that part of it kind of continues, and I think he's just improved. I mean, he's tops in the league in completion, completion percentage and yards per completion, which, which is really, really rare, right? Like, usually those high completion guys are a little bit lower in the yards per completion. So for those two things to go hand in hand, I mean, he's got, got complete control of their offense. I think you see the trust he has in the scheme, the trust he has in his playmakers. Um, and there's really good chemistry between all of them, whether it's Chase and all their time they spend together at LSU carrying forward to Cincinnati. But, I mean, you see the same with Higgins and Boyd, right? Um, and Yuzuma, right? Like, just the same. So, I mean, he's playing really well. Probably one of the better quarterbacks in the league, obviously. I think he's up there with the elite guys uh, with what he's doing this year. So, he's improved and he's, he's, he's playing really well. A lot of pressure all season long, and still seems to be able to create. What kind of stands out about his ability under pressure? Yeah, I think, uh, like I said, I think he's instinctive in the pocket. I think he's got a knack for finding the open window. Usually, I mean, we rush four guys. There's usually two places to escape, and he's got the knack of finding them. Um, he does a good job ducking. Uh, the one thing with him too is he's got great ball security in the pocket. You don't see guys really getting it off of him when he's trying to extend those plays. Um, so it's going to be a big challenge for us. Our guys are going to have to be relentless rushing. They, they can't assume the play is going to be over because it never is. Obviously, you guys saw that last week against the Raiders. Uh, but that, the play is never going to be over with the guy. we got to continue to rush, and we got to continue to cover. That followed a, a, a team's best receiver with a specific cornerback. What's, what's the philosophy there to kind of stick with your Yeah, team? I mean, which receiver you chase? Are you referring to Higgins, who's got over 1,000 yards? Are you referring to Boyd, who's got, I think, close to 1,000 yards? So, I mean, it's pick your poison, right? So, I mean, there's a time and place for it. Um, we'll have to see as the game goes. But, I mean, they're talented. They got guys across the board who have made a lot of plays and had a ton of production. The quarterback likes them all, right? So, um, I mean, I think by game plan, you got to look at that. I think our skill set. Our corner skill set versus first those guys. I think that that always comes into play when you're looking at some of that stuff um, in regard to man coverage. So I mean, we'll kind of see where that goes on Sunday. Shane, as much those attention as those receivers get, they have a pretty good running back and Joe Mixon too. How how big of a challenge is no he doubt. To kind of continue? I mean, and they 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 get him the ball right. They get him the ball. I mean, I think he's up there in attempts, up there in yards. Um, He's a big factor, like not only running the ball, he's, he's great. He's got good vision. I think he does a great job jump cutting and getting downhill, running behind his pads. Um, but they use him out of the backfield. They find ways to get him the ball. They threw the screen to him last week. That was a big play for him. Um, so he's another weapon they have in their arsenal that the quarterback has comfort going to. Shots and so forth. Does this, do these guys do that as as well as anybody? Do you have to be a, you know even yeah, more aware than usual? Kind of? I mean, just to, statistically, you see it. They're going to take the shots. They're going to take their shots. I mean, when you when you got a uh, chemistry between guys where you can throw it deep or you can underthrow it, and those guys understand how to come back for the ball and all the things that come with it, uh, they take advantage of it and they're going to use it to their advantage. Um, I think the thing that doesn't really stand out about some of those because they got a ton of explosives, right? Is a lot. There's a lot of catch and runs, right? I think all these receivers, we got to do a good job tackling uh, the tight end. We got to do a good job tackling. That's a big part of it when they do catch it shorter, and it's not necessarily necessarily a shot. We got to be able to get these guys on the ground. What about when they go empty? They have a lot of success doing that, especially like throwing those fades. And, and those yeah, things. I mean, I the quarterback likes empty. Usually, when team go team goes empty. The quarterback likes it. He can see what's going on. He can kind of dissect a little bit what's happening. They can create matchups 
just based on where they align different guys, where the back is, where where a receiver is in relation to a tight end. Um, so it's it allows them to kind of do some things that probably the quarterback feels comfortable with in, in my mind. So we got to be prepared for it. Um, it's something that's going to show up. We know it's going to show up. So we got to be ready to defend it uh, on Saturday. Shane, with the health and availability that you've got, is it a, a line that you have to walk of maybe trying to, you know, don't dive too much? Or does it allow you maybe some more freedom to do some sub packages and things like that to tap into the, the guys you now have available? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. I think we've been able to develop our depth throughout the season um, because a lot of guys have had to play. Um, so you got to wider range of skill sets that you're able to utilize accordingly, right? So there's places for guys to go on the game and do some different things based on what we're doing defensively, what they're doing offensively, um, and how we see fit. So I think that's that's grown. And now that we got guys back, we've kind of developed some of those guys and where they might have a role. You've got a lot of guys with playoff experience. You've got some that haven't played in playoff games. What do you tell some of the young guys just about what to expect, maybe the ports every play. Yeah, I think um, starting out in the week, I think the, the urgency is a big part of it. The urgency and preparation coming out here. I thought we had a really good day yesterday, just communication, guys on the same page, um, recognizing formation, all that type of stuff. Um, but I think the urgency and preparation is vital, understanding that every play and practice and walk through and jog through, it could show up in the game, and that could be the play that makes a difference in the game. Like, there's margin for errors extremely small come playoff time. I know it wasn't always that way last weekend, um, but more times than not, it's going to come down to a, a few plays, right? So we got to make sure we're ready to make those plays when we have our opportunities to make them. Um, and at the same time, we can't give them anything by being in the wrong spot, not being on the same page. Like, uh, Shane, looking at that injury report for a change and it's this big instead of this big as you're as you're getting ready for the play. Yeah, it's good seeing these guys back out here. You always hate it when guys are down, um, when they're hurting. We've, we've got a great roster defensively. There's a lot of competition on that side of the ball at multiple positions. Um, so to get guys back out here competing, right? They're, they're competing just the same. Um, but being able to find some roles for these guys and see where they fit in the plan, um, we'll kind of see where that goes on Saturday.